We've been going over a lot of different web hosting services and I'm here right now to tell you that I found the top 10 and I'm going to go over the pros and the cons that truly make them their place where they are. Now I've ran into a lot of problems searching into it, some things I like, some things I didn't like coming from SSL security, coming from meter bandwidth, coming from uh, really not so great pricing as well and ease of use and we're going to go over each and every one of those so click on the links in the description and you can try those for yourself starting off with number one number one is bluehost now bluehost is really great it has unmetered bandwidth free site migration free domain and 24 7 us support now it does have an average response time for the con which i'm not that great about because i like to be helped immediately so if i need support support me right now. Number two on my list is going to be HostWinds. HostWinds is also another great site. And what makes it number two on my list is that it has high spec servers available. It has competitive pricing and SSL security. Why I didn't quite enjoy so much about HostWinds is that it, the support site can be rather intimidating for beginners. So if you're just getting starting out, watch out for HostWinds because it could be a little scary. Number three, we have HostGator. HostGator is pretty great as well. It has unlimited bandwidth, unmetered disk space, 200 credit for searches, and they have a 40 day money back guarantee. Now, who doesn't like getting money back? At least if you don't like it, right? Now, the downside of this is that it does have limited UPS and dedicated server configuration options. So it, that's what places it at number three for me because I don't like being limited. I'm rather spoiled when it comes to it, and especially knowing what you want. Costigator really let me down on this one, but it's still pretty great for the bang for the buck. Now, Liquid Web. Liquid Web is going to come in at number four on my list because it has responsive and expert support. They have a very, very large amount of powerful features, which I enjoyed them. I love features. Uh, they have a wide range of plans and it's pretty much a reliable provider. Now, uh, one thing I didn't like, which really puts it in this position, is that there's just no free trial. So you should go ahead and commit to Liquid Web if you want to try it out. So that's something that I don't like. I believe that there should be a free trial at least for two or three days, at least to kind of take a look and see what's going on. And that's where it's placing it at number four. Now, number five is going to be in motion for me. Uh, in motion's pretty great. It's pretty good as well. I can't say that it's great, but it's pretty good. Uh, they do have uh, WordPress uh, hosting as well. Uh, they have uh, really different uh, web design services and 24-7 support. But not all plans have monthly billing plans. So you're looking at a long term for InMotion. So if you're looking just to try to try it out for a month or two, uh, then you're going to have to make a bigger plan because InMotion wants you to pay more for a longer term. So they would rather have you in that contract, which... Again, if you're just kind of, if you're obviously sitting on this video, you're looking for what's best for you right now, and maybe it's not it, so you want to change. So, in motion can kind of set you back on that one. Green Geeks. Green Geeks is pretty good too. It has a 300% energy offset scheme, which is pretty cool. It has powerful shared hosting, SSD storage, and WordPress and UPS hosting, which is pretty great as well. Now, one thing that I don't like about this, considering that I love to have someone helping me, is the phone support isn't 24 7 so that's a big con for me because you have to plan uh, on that time especially if you're somewhere else in the world uh, and you're in a different time zone so to kind of work for this is not really ideal for me because who knows what's going to happen right there's always problems that arise from the darkness and i don't want to have to wake up at three o'clock in the morning just to get somebody to help me all right so the next one we have from green geeks is name cheap now, some of the pros for Namecheap is going to be that it is typically low priced. Uh, it has helpful support and the Octoglyph app installer, so that's pretty great to have as well. But one of the cons that uh, I don't like is it has few advanced extras. So you, if you want a little extra bang for your buck, you'll, you're not going to find it with Namecheap. So they have very few of those. So that place it at its level right now. Now, coming in at number eight, Hostinger. Hostinger has great pros to it as well. 
Uh, now the disk storage starts around 200 gigabytes, which is pretty good. Free SSL, free domain, and 300 websites. And it has a daily backup. Now the baseline uh, accounts, the are the baseline shared accounts are limited. Again, I don't like being limited, so that's what places it number eight for me. But it's still pretty great as well. Now, what about Domain.com coming in at number nine? Now, Domain.com uh, is okay as well. Uh, now, Domain.com has uh, a couple of pros to it as well. Now, it does have a pretty stable and secure platform, unlimited storage for that. Uh, it does have scalable bandwidth. And one big thing that I think that comes as a pro is that it's 99.9% uh, uptime guarantee and a free SSL. So that's pretty great as well. But again, we're back to no monthly billing options uh, on plans, on free plans or uh, on small plans. And so that's a big thing for me because sometimes we want to change. So change is always good. So it's coming at number nine. I'm top 10. Thank you for joining me. Click on the links in the description below and try them out for yourself.